Hey everybody, Sven here from Red Left Hand. Today I'd like to talk to you about the Joel Wanasek BG bass plugin from Joey Sturgis Tones. But first, let's have a listen to the music we'll be working with today. Okay, welcome back. That was the intro to the song Time Odyssey by my band, The End of All Reason. A little bit of shameless self-promotion there. Here we have the Pro Tools session. Um, the drum tracks are in yellow, bass tracks are in orange, guitar tracks are in green, subgroups are in blue, and the mix bus and master fader are in red. You can see that there's some EQ and compression going on on most tracks, but on the bass tracks, I'm only using the Joel Wanasek BG Bass plugin. Um, that's because the plugin is made to be a one-stop shop kind of uh, thing for processing your bass signal. Um, it contains EQ, compression, and distortion all in one. I must say, being a bass player and a producer, I was pretty skeptical about those kind of plugins, but, well, I must say that they uh, actually really did a great job on this one. Quick note, um, I only have these multiple bass tracks here in this session um, so that I can show you uh, the different settings uh, in the plugin without having to switch too much around. Okay, now before I show you the plugin, let's have a quick listen to what the raw DI track sounds like in the mix and uh, by itself. <laughs> Okay, well, as you can hear, it sounds pretty inconsistent level-wise and frequency-wise. In the low end, it's like all over the place. So let's throw on the Joel Wanasek BG Bass plugin and see how that can help us. Oh, here we go. Okay, this is the main interface. Crush loud. This is the gain reduction. Crush is kind of the compressor limiter um, going on, um, including uh, an EQ curve. The more you um, push it, the more uh, it gets EQ'd and compressed. Uh, loud is the basically the leveling. Here you can choose the bottom end or the top end. The bass position is well basically the the EQing of the fundamental uh, where you want to put that um, just play around with it see what sounds best for you um, the grid section is the distortion uh, three types of distortion um, more vintage more clean sounding distortion and a very heavily uh, more like guitar amp type of distortion let's see what we can do let me just loop the first riff here there we go. Oh, sorry. There we go. Yeah, you can just hear that low end becoming very, very consistent. You can also see it on the the, the meters here. Um, okay, so that was the low end. Let's do the top end.
Okay, now that fits in the mix really well too. Took me like 10 seconds <laughs> to fit my uh, DI track into the mix. Nice. Let's have a look at those uh, distortion types. Maybe let's have a listen to those in solo first. You might be pleasantly surprised, I think. So that's the clean DI, of course. Sounding pretty cool. Let's try it in the mix. It's just so cool when you add like a saturation or a distortion, um, how the top end really gels with the guitars. I, I really, really like that. Uh, let's try this one. I really, really, really like this type. Um, it's it's clean, but yet very, very aggressive, clanky. Really like it. Cool. Let's see how that fits in the mix. Yep, yep, digging it, digging it. Okay, this one. And solo. <laughs> Yeah, cool. Uh, you might think like, whoa, what the hell is that? That's gonna sound terrible in the mix, but you might be surprised. That gels so well with the guitar sound now. Really, really cool. You can, of course, blend it in. Um, this is like full on, but if we just go back to that clean sound a bit more. really really like it to come back to these uh three tracks here um i made a couple of presets i'll uh share the link down in the description for you guys um i'll just flip around and uh you can hear what they sound like in the mix just just name them a b and c for the type of distortion that i was using let's start with a let's go back to the beginning clean DI track to end there. So apart from the bass, um, I'm also using the Joel Wanasek PG bass plugin on the organ in this song. 
Um, let me solo that for you. It just beefs it up so nicely. Um, there's a little bit of reverb going on here as well. Let me just bypass that. And this is what it sounded like before. It just sounds really boxy and pretty dull, actually. This is what that sound sounds like in the mix. bad not bad but when we add the plugin it just gels so much better with the, the rest of the instruments I'll include this preset as well Okay, so that was uh, my video. I hoped you liked it. If you like the plugin, be sure to check it out. It's on sale right now on the Joey Sturgis Tones website. As you can see, for our European users here, it's uh, $26.95 at the moment, coming from $54.95. Um, be sure to check out the rest of Joey's plugins. They're pretty amazing. <laughs>